Today in our ongoing series on threat modeling, we're going to talk about how you actually, uh, the first three or four steps in the process, okay? So you've already uh, scoped your threat modeling effort by uh, using use cases or uh, system functionality or architecture. You've already kicked off the process by getting everybody in a room and setting expectations, giving people jobs and, and, um, and telling what their roles are going to be. Now you need to actually start entering data into your tool. Um, uh, of course, you can use uh, any of the three tools that we talked about previously. Uh, first, understand the business objectives. Document them. Uh, talk to the business customer. We'll kind of role play. Mr. Business Customer or Mrs. Business Customer, what is this system supposed to do? What objectives are we supposed to meet using this system? Many times you'll find that the objectives that are written down on a piece of paper that you have from, uh, from a year ago or two year, years ago, are not the same as the business objectives that the business customer who's sitting in the room right now has, right? Believe them. Don't believe the piece of paper. Um, document the two or three business objectives that this system is supposed to meet. That way you'll know when you're failing uh, or when you're not, when a, a hacker or a piece of malware is disrupting that achievement of that business objective. Second, define your roles. And by roles, you can think of roles as actors who interact with your system to achieve something of value. You can think of roles as like system administrator, customer, um, um, internal auditor, all those kinds of things. But you need to understand who those people are uh, accessing your system and what they're doing, right? So this person needs to access this system for this purpose. Document that in your tool or on a piece of paper depending on whether you're not using a tool or not. Um, third, you need to understand the data that is flowing through the system or residing within your system. So, not just the data, but the classification of the data, right? So, data that says that uh, Jeff Inglesby came in at uh, the crack of eight today and um, worked for three hours, took a break, took a lunch, then did, that may not be important at all to you, right? So that's classified way down here. Data that says that we invented a new way of doing this, right? It's gonna make us a bazillion dollars, um, that's really important to you. So with the business customer in the room, you need to decide the data that's in there is this important or this important, right? Third, or fourth, lost track. Uh, you need to talk about on the components of the system. On a major level, not the architecture itself, but at the high level, what pieces of the system uh, work together to accomplish the business objective. So a component is something like a web server, a data warehouse, a, um, a database, um, uh, a demilitarized zone. Uh, those are big component things that you should document. And what you do is you say, you say this role interacts with this component of the system in order to transfer this data. Um, and then uh, we move to the next phase of our threat model, right? So join us next time for uh, the next step in the process.